everybody to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA, the fourth grade edition. Um, today we're going to be working on maths.4.nf.3.6, which is lesson 18, decimal notation for fractions. I am pumped. I've been waiting to get to decimals. I'm so excited. So let's do this. I've got four examples for you today. It's going to be amazing. Um, I'm going to go over some stuff real quick, but first, let me let you know that all the problems that you are about to see are included in the link in the description box below. So click that link. That will take you to my complete guide to passing the FSA. Um, our school is using it. The kids are rocking it. Oh my gosh, shout out to my school. What's up, Wendy Ridge? Um, we're going to be rocking the FSA. So for math and so I suggest you guys get it because it can really take your game to the whole nother level. If you thought you were gonna be level two, it can take you to level three or four. If you thought you were gonna be level three, it could take you to a four or five. Um, it's it's a it's good, it's great. So let me teach ya. Let me get go, let's get going. Beep, 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 beep. All right, well, so first of all, we're gonna be working with decimals, so we need to revert to place value. You are used to working with the ones, tens, and hundreds, okay? However, right next to the ones place, there is something called a decimal, and when we read that decimal, we end up saying the word and, which you will see in our very first example when we get there. So to the right of the decimal, we have the tenths place, and we have the hundredths place. Okay, and I made up a little song, it's right here. It's a place value song, right here, um, to help you remember the different place value. Now it's meant for fourth and fifth graders, so it kind of takes your understanding up to that fifth grade level, but it's good. So I would say in the song, decimal to the right, tenths, hundreds, thousands. So tens, hundreds, thousands. It's kind of like it's going backwards, sort of. Now, when we are writing decimal, decimal notation for fractions, we're going to be working with the tenths and the hundredths place. So two tenths, if it's a decimal, will now be written as zero for the ones place, decimal point two. Zero point two, because two is in the tenths place, two tenths. And for the hundredths, if we had two hundredths, we would go zero, decimal, zero, because we don't have any tenths, but we do have a hundredth. So 0 0.02. And then finally, when we need to convert from, I don't think we'll have to do that here, but we'll see, from tenths to hundredths, let's say that we had two tenths, and we needed to convert it to Hundredths, we would just add zeros onto each, and you would have 20 hundredths. They are equivalent fractions. Okay, with that said, let's get to example one, okay? Let's get, let's get going. What is the value of two and four tenths in decimal form? So two is my whole number. That would be my ones place, and four tenths because the tenths place comes right after the decimal. Decimal to the right, tenths, hundreds, thousands. That's all you need for example one, baby. Okay, this is example two. It says two values are shown, 34 hundredths, which could be written as 34 hundredths, and 97 hundredths, which could be written as 97 hundredths. Plot and label the points on the number line below. So I know that these are going to be between 0 and 1 because 100 hundredths is equal or equivalent to 1. So now I just got to place them between here. So I'm just going to mark a halfway mark. And I know that 34 hundredths is going to come in the middle of my halfway mark probably a little bit closer here because it's closer to the 50 hundredths. I'm going to label it as 0 0.34 or 34 hundredths written in decimal form. 
Now for 97 hundredths, that's going to be really close to 100 hundredths. So I'm going to put that baby right there. 0 0.97. Um, the correct way to say it, though, is 97 hundredths. That is how you do a problem like this. All right, example three. Match each fraction with the equivalent decimal notation. So this says 5 hundredths. The one written as 5 hundredths. This is 5 tenths. And this is 5 hundredths. So I'm going to put that there. 50 hundredths. Well, 50 hundredths is equal to 5 tenths. So that's going to go right there. And then 5 tenths is equivalent to 5 tenths. We're on example four already. Oh, time flies when you are having fun. Which decimal is equivalent to six hundredths? So six hundredths, to write that as a decimal, here's my decimal point. So decimal to the right tenths, hundredths. So my six needs to go in the hundredths place, which means I need to fill this one with a zero and my whole number or my ones place with a zero. So the one that conveys the same answer is D. A is 60, B is six, C is six tenths, and D is six hundredths, which is the one that we want. Select all the fractions that are equivalent to seven tenths. This is example five, homies. Seven tenths. Well, I know that it is in the tenths place because it's decimal to the right tenths. Decimal to the right tenths. Hundreds, thousands. So I need something that's seven tenths. The way that I would write that as a fraction form would be like this. Okay. And I can change it to hundredths by adding on a zero to each. So 7 with a 0 is 70, and 10 with a 0 is 100. So those are the answers that I'm looking for, okay? 70 tenths. No, I want 7 tenths. 7 tenths. That's the one I want. You're the one that I want. You are the one I want. Hoo, 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 honey. Did I just get some teachers singing with me? You better have teachers. Gotta be nerdy together. All right, 10 sevenths would be flipped, where the, you're flipping the numerator and denominator, but that's not correct. 70 hundredths, yeah, yeah. 100 sevenths, again, that, I don't know what that would be. That would not be the right answer, though. It's not the same thing. So B and D and motivational message time. All right, so I'm hoping that you brought your A game today. I'm going to be out in a second, but I need to leave you with some words to inspire you. So today's message, you were given this life because you were strong enough to live it. Okay, maybe your life is a little rough right now. It's temporary, but you're strong enough. I promise you, stick with it. I know it feels like you might be under fire right now in some area of your life, but you are strong enough to get through this. You can do it. As Kelly Clarkson once said, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Stand a little taller. Na, 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 na. It's true. You can handle it. I promise you. And you know what? When you come out on the other side of it, you are going to be so strong. Not just, you know, <clears throat> strong, but just <clears throat> strong, strong in here, tough. You're gonna have what it takes, I promise you. Let's go.